Hi team grade 4, it's your self-proclaimed favorite mathematics teacher, Miss Aliyah Brewster. Welcome to another edition of grade 4 mathematics. Today's topic is geometry and we're zooming in on congruence. But just in case you're not feeling motivated, remember the words of Paul Halmos. The only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. So what are you waiting for? Grab a pencil and a notebook, get settled, we're about to start. In geometry, two figures or objects are congruent if they have the same shape and size or if one has the same shape and size as the mirror image of the other. Sometimes in geometry, the word congruent is often used in place of the word equal. For example, two length segments are congruent if they have the same length. Also, two angles are congruent if they have the same measurement. Another example, two circles are said to be congruent if they have the same diameter. Looking at the triangles, we're going to work an example to see how congruence works. The two triangles on the left are congruent. Triangles A and B. Even though they're not positioned the same way, one is slightly tilted, they are still congruent because they have the same measurement, okay? While the third triangle is similar to A and B, but it is not the same size as A and B. Therefore, it is not congruent. The last triangle, which is triangle D, is neither similar nor congruent to any of the other triangles. Note that congruence permits alteration of some properties, such as location and orientation, but it leaves others unchanged, like distance, shape, and angles. The unchanged properties are called invariants. This means that triangle A and B are congruent because they have the same angle, the same size, or the same measurement, even though triangle A is slightly tilted. First, let's discuss congruence is reflective. Think of an object. It can be an object you see on your desk, in your room, or it can be a geometric figure, like a square or a triangle. Is this object congruent to itself? Is a mug physically identical to itself? Does a triangle have the same size and shape as itself? The answer is yes to all these questions. A geometric figure is always congruent to itself. This means that congruence is reflective. Congruence is also symmetric. Now imagine the following scenario. You recently saw your friend wearing some awesome sneakers. Knowing you have the same size feet as your friend, you ask what his or her size is. You then went online and found the same pair of sneakers and purchased it. The pair of new sneakers you got 
are evidently identical or congruent to your friend's sneakers. So, are your friend's sneakers also congruent to yours? The answer is yes to both questions. If A is congruent to B, then B is also congruent to A. This means that congruency is symmetric. Congruency is also transitive. Imagine this, you recently bought a bag. Your friend came over to hang out one afternoon and commented, Hey girl, I got the exact same bag as you. Did you know that Brenda also has the same bag? From that scenario, can you say you got the same bag as Brenda? In fact, the answer to that question would be yes. Because if A is congruent to B and B is congruent to C, then A is also congruent to C. This means that congruency is transitive. In other words, all three of the bags are the same. It's time for some activities. Our first activity is observation. I would like you to look at the two birds on the screen and you're going to identify if those penguins are similar and congruent. So you're looking for similarity and congruency. And then we'll be back to discuss. Okay boys and girls, welcome back. We were tasked to identify whether the penguins above are similar and congruent. The answer would be that the penguins are similar, but they are not congruent. The two penguins are similar because they have the same shape. They are not congruent because the penguin on the left is smaller than the penguin on the right. Okay boys and girls, for our next activity, you're going to identify the shapes that are symmetrical. Okay, so you're looking for all the shapes that are symmetrical. When you're finished doing that, I'll be back to discuss with you. Okay boys and girls, welcome back. It's time for us to discuss your answers. We were asked to identify the shapes that are symmetrical. Symmetrical shapes have something called a line of symmetry. The line of symmetry can be defined as an imaginary line, an invisible line or a mirror line that passes through the center of the shape or object and divides it into identical halves, okay? The key word there is identical. So let's look at our shapes now. A has a line, but that line does not make the shape have two identical halves. So that is not symmetrical. Now shape B, which is a triangle, has a line going straight down the middle. So there is one part and another part, and if you notice, both parts are identical, okay? They are identical. Shape C is also symmetrical because the two halves are identical. What is on one side is reflecting on the other side. Shape D is also symmetrical because the line is showing or highlighting symmetry. 
what is on one side is on the other side. Shape E, which is ironically the letter E, is also symmetrical. Even though the line of symmetry is not vertical, it is horizontal. Okay, what is reflecting at the top is reflecting at the bottom as well. Shape F is not symmetrical because one side is reflecting half of a square while the other side is reflecting not half of a square. They're not identical. Shape G is symmetrical because what is on one side is also reflecting on the other side while shape H is not symmetrical. So there you have it boys and girls. The shapes that are symmetrical are B, C, D, E and G. So if you guessed those shapes, then you are correct. Well done. Okay boys and girls, that has brought us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for tuning in and remember the words of Paul Halmos. The only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. This means that even though our study time has come to an end, you must still practice if you wish to be successful at your upcoming exam. Thank you once again for tuning in boys and girls and goodbye.